Okay, um, you guys saw Mia eating the tangaloo. Um, that's the strawberries covered in sugar. And a lot of you guys reached out and asked, how do you do that? I've never seen that before. Oh man, that crunch. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make it really quick. It doesn't take long at all. And it is so good. I'm gonna show you guys the recipe that I use. I don't know what anybody else is using. It doesn't make an enormous amount of syrup, but it makes enough to cover quite a few strawberries. All right, so the other day, uh, Mia um, was eating the tingaloo on um, uh, the live yesterday on Facebook. And a lot of you guys reached out and you wanted to know how to make it. So I'm going to show you very quickly how to make this amazing, quick, simple, um, kid-friendly dessert. All right, here we go. So in a small sauce pot, you are going to add one cup of sugar. And this can also be done in the microwave and um, it works out the same. You are going to, uh, do it in 30 second pulses. Then you're gonna add three fourths cup of corn syrup, light corn syrup, and then just enough water, probably about a fourth of a cup of water to make it sandy and to get it to bubble. I'm gonna put my induction on medium high. And we're gonna cook the sugar until it is amber, um, a beautiful color of light amber. Once it hits light amber, we know that it's at the hard crack stage. That is where you want your um, sugar to be, a light amber at the hard crack stage. And the reason being is because you want that amazing crunch. That is the whole uh, premise of this amazing candy. And these are, um, very popular in Japan, um, and uh, they do um, mandarins, grapes, and strawberries is what I've seen thus far, okay? You don't wanna stir in the sugar too much, but you do wanna make sure that all of the sugar is um, mixed in so that it comes off as wet. If you don't, what happens is, is that the sugar will start to melt, but then it will try to go back into its crystallized state, or you'll have just big clumps of uncooked sugar in your syrup. Um, this is hot, so this part of it you want to do, um, there you go. This is hot, so this part you wanna do um, by yourself and then let the kids come in and enjoy the candy um, later. Or if you have older kids like Mia, um, you can allow them to come in and kind of dip the um, candy, I mean the fruit in the sugar. But you definitely want to be watchful because it is extremely hot. The one thing that I liked about this the other day when we had it is that um, after the um, of course, when the fruit hits the hot sugar, it begins to extract juice, and that juice gets caught in the, the, the covering of sugar. So when you bite into it, it is absolutely amazing. I've already cleaned off my strawberries. Um, I like to leave the, um, the leaves on mine because I just think it looks better. Um, normally, when you see this, um, other people make it, they will cut the leaves off and then stack two on. So you get two on one stick. But I like the way that the one stick um, looked and I just go straight down into the stem, right down into the actual stem part. And that's where it's toughest. And I go all the way up and I like to use a thicker um, stick. You can see my sugar is already melting. Take out my spatula here. And we're just gonna let that go. The bubbles are really rapid right now. Once those bubbles start to slow down, come down, and you'll also see the steam kind of go away, we know that it's starting to get close, okay? So while that's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and get my strawberries ready.
I'm going to lay mine on a silk pad. If you don't have a silk pad, you can definitely use a or butter, um, <laughs> oil or butter to make sure that your candy, um, strawberries, or fruit don't stick. I want to get the best ones. The big ones. All right. So if you're looking at your sugar, you can already see the bubbles have slowed down. We no longer have any steam. So that means that we are totally cooking sugar right now, sugar and corn syrup. You can add flavoring to this. If you were to do that, you would take it off the heat and add that. Um, not while it's on the heat. You don't want it to, it'll kind of rush it, so you don't, want it, you don't want that to happen. But I do not use thermometers, candy thermometers. I am an old school type of a person. I believe in using your eye and just being able to know when to say when. So if you want measure, if you want temperatures, I can get you that, but I don't use thermometers. I, I have them, but I don't use them, which maybe I should start. I don't know. But I love using my eye. Nothing beats your eye unless you got bad sight, like me. I'm, I'm getting there. But as you can see, the bubbles are slowed down even more, and we aren't quite at that amber color yet. We're getting there. But as soon as you see it turning a little bit brown, you want to go ahead and take it off because once it starts, it don't stop. So you got to take it off, okay? Now, if you wanted to, other than, you know, dipping these pickles in it, um, you could add like a little pinch of salt to the dry and then cook it and it'll be fine. But, I mean, that's totally up to you. I think that all depends on what it is that you are um, actually dipping into the syrup. Let me take a look at my pie. Berries. Pickles not, I don't know if you got to wash them or what. But anyway, here's our strawberries. The I dry. did pat the pickles dry. That's 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 God saying, yeah, don't do that. <laughs> it's a little bit on there. You could try that. Okay. And as you can see, nice. That's beautiful. So is this a new new crate? It's not new. It's new to us. It's not new at all. It is something that has always been, but we've just, it's just I'm now. Sorry, I haven't seen it. You haven't seen it? No, I'm saying. No, I mean, were, your, did, your, did your mom and them not? My mom used to always make candy. No. My mom made hardtack candy, candy apples. Candy, uh, candy yeah. apples were her thing. Yeah. Same thing. It's the same stuff. It's just clear. And you get to actually see the fruit. Do that one. This long one? Let me pat it dry. Okay. Get it good and dry. I'm trying to get it good and dry. Let's see if this one do it. Yep. Maybe it was just too hot. Perfect. You, you got to let it cool off. Let me do this one again. You hear it cooking. That's why I say you got to be careful. Yeah, with your babies. Oh, man, this one. I think it's, it's going to the left. <laughs> His limp. <laughs> Don't get that. Well, you can cut that drip. That's good. There you go. And you can see that they juice very well. I'm going to try this one. Somebody said, let's get a crunch. Oh, here, here we go. One, two, three. Mmm.
No. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Y'all, it's so simple. Why is it so good? It might be because, you know what? It might be because I've been without sugar for a while. Y'all, eat, love, be blessed, and trust the process. See you till next time. That was good. Look at that. Let me see that. Let me see that. It's so good.